Good morning, everybody, or at least it's morning when I'm recording this. My next class starts in seven minutes. I gotta teach that fast, so, well, actually eight minutes. Let's see if I can get this done in that amount of time. Well, I'm really interested in the Apple stuff. They're ARM chips and what it's doing to the market. I'm so interested in how this shakes out over the next couple of years. And today, uh, we got some information that caused Intel shares to slide 2.9% and Apple shares to go up 1.3%. And that is not at all unrelated events. It's a response to this article. I'm pretty sure this Bloomberg article is the original. And as my subscribers are used to, links to everything I talk about will be in the description to this video. Well, what do we have to talk about here? Um, this article has a lot of details that I just kind of like to summarize. Basically, they're getting into uh, what is Apple's future plans regarding their ARM chips. And it's sounding like they're gonna get a lot more cores, including a lot more GPU cores, as well as the high performance cores, way faster than a lot of people were predicting. And that's part of what's causing that slide in the Intel stock because while Apple has started its transition to ARM, it's currently just in some kind of lower end like the Mac Mini, MacBook Air. They have a MacBook Pro model, but you know, they're, they're a little limited and, uh, but we knew that was just like a first generation kind of almost like a beta test of this sort of stuff, right? Uh, and they were already pretty dang impressive. Um, so we should be starting to see a whole bunch more cores, um, sorry, popping up in their, um, in their ARM chips. You know what, let's hop over to this. So this is the original article, this is Bloomberg one, but video cards here, I'll link this as well, did a nice job of sort of summarizing it in a nice little table for us. So we know that Apple's current M1 system on a chip uh, has a four of the high performance cores and four of the more efficient cores, right? And then it has um, some GPU cores. Uh, I think it's seven or eight, depending on the model. I think that's what the details are here. And when that came out, right? They've got a MacBook Air, a MacBook Pro, and a Mac Mini. But uh, it's looking like there's a 16 core uh, version coming out soon for the MacBook Pro and iMac. And this again is rumored to be coming within the next year or so, right? Between 2021 and 2022. Uh, and we didn't get specific dates for all these, but what are their plans? They should have a 8, 12, and 16 high performance core models uh, with, uh, again, they didn't give details on these two, but they did mention in the article four going with the 16. I would have guessed that there would be four efficiency cores in the other two as well. That would just be a guess. Anyway. They also are planning a 32 core chip to go into their more high-end desktops, right? And then there was even mention of GPUs expanding to be uh, uh, 64 or even 128 core GPUs compared to the seven or eight core GPUs found in the current M1 chips. And in the Bloomberg article, I believe they did specifically mention that those graphics chips would be several times faster than the current graphics modules Apple uses from Nvidia and AMD in its Intel powered hardware. Now, um, so AMD, right? So, so uh, what, I actually have questioned this article a little bit. Is, doesn't Apple hate Nvidia and not use their stuff? Am I wrong? Did that change? <laughs> anyway, uh, so the thing is we're not given specific chips here. And this is kind of the issue with, I mean, this one's just a leak, but with Apple in general and their M1 launch was like three times faster than, than what exactly, right? Well, what AMD chip they're talking about here, who knows? But the point is, this is sounding like a massive improvement on the processors and it's, um, uh, it's using the word dedicated here. So is this a dedicated graphics card or is this just more dedicated cores on that SOC? I still have some questions here, guys, but this is looking really interesting. Interesting. If, they, if Apple thinks that they can start competing in performance at high-end desktop levels or even beating what Intel is able to offer them on their current like Mac Pro type stuff. So very, very interesting stuff here, guys. L like I said, I'm short on time. Links in the description here as well. Now, in other tech news that I still have two or three minutes to talk to you guys about, uh, the AMD 6900 XT coming out. That's tomorrow, right? The 8th coming out tomorrow. Well, uh, are you imagining what the supply is gonna be like? Well, we do have from Digitech, which is one of the largest retailers in, I believe it, is it Switzerland, Switzerland? But it's, it's a, big, uh, a big retailer for their country. And they have apparently a shipment of 35. 35 guys, 35 for one of the largest retailers in their country. And, um, hmm. 
That doesn't sound fantastic. Although they did say that it came in with a shipment uh, kind of unexpectedly of 25 6800s and about 17 6800 XTs. So it does look like we might be getting a refresh uh, of some more shipments of these models when our 6900s launch. So maybe even if you're not interested in the 6900, at least this retailer is reporting that they are getting uh, some more stock for the 6800 models, which could be interesting to some people because maybe everybody's jumping on that 6900 and you can hop on one of these, but not at this retailer. They're doing a lottery system. So you can enter to win, uh, win the chance to buy one in, in a lottery system, which, hey, you know what? Uh, that's kind of interesting, right? Now, um, uh, yeah, and, and this is a Video Cards article about the same topic um, and the yeah, biggest Swiss retailer. Anyway, links in the description. Uh, speaking of the 6900, Asus has announced theirs and uh, you know, you can take a look and see what it looks like. Uh, and the last thing, since we have like one or two minutes left of time here, uh, is I was interested in Tweaktown. Uh, they did, well, they were testing 6800 XTs in Crossfire, so multi-GPU. Now this is of limited interest, right? Because most games these days don't support multi-GPU. That seems really being uh, fa uh, getting phased out from both Nvidia and AMD. A lot less support there than there used to be. Games aren't really getting a huge amount of support. Now they have a whole bunch of games here. And like I said, I'll link this if you wanna take a look. They tested at 1080p, 1440p and 4K in four or five different games that support multi-GPU. Now they gave a, this is a good summary here though, which is the worst case scenario. Let me get out of your way. Oops, that's, that's, I wanted to move myself, not that. Move myself, here, here I am. Hi guys. Okay, <laughs> um, the magics of green screen and OBS, right? Anyway, um, so what do we have here? We have the worst case scenario was this sniper, uh, um, not, not sniper, wait, worst case scenario. I, I had it guys and then I zoomed in and it disappeared. Uh, the point is, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided at 4K. Uh, here's our multi-GPU setup, which is, you know, not beating the 3090 or the other things by, by all that much. Uh, but then we have other games where, you know, 135 up to 204, that's versus a 3090. And uh, versus, you know, a single uh, XT, that's almost doubling the performance. So that's really good scaling. Uh, here's a couple of other games. We've got Sniper Elite 4, 171 up to 255. Um, uh, again, that's versus the 3090 and then versus the 6800 XT. We went from 145 up to 255. Again, versus a single 6800 XT, 144 up to 278. And then versus the 3090, 158 up to 278. So in games that actually are supporting it, this looks pretty dang impressive. But again, not very many games supporting it. Okay, guys, my next class is about to get started. If you're interested in technology and stuff and all of that. My channel's just getting started about two months old. I talk about tech news, but I also try to review things and give my opinions and all that when I get the chance. But I'm pretty busy, as I said, with my job teaching math, which my next class is starting. So I hope you guys have an excellent day.